Hello and welcome to today's special event with eLotus. We have been hosting educational courses at eLotus for over two decades and we are proud to be your tr source, your trusted source for premium CU content. With over 250 speakers, 900 courses, and 3,500 hours of continuing education. My name is Donna Chow and I'll be hosting and moderating today's class and we are so happy that you can join us today. Today's webinar is Autoimmune Disorders and Depression. Dr. Jimmy Chang's Herbal Master Sheet with Dr. Jimmy Chang himself. He is one of our best speakers out of 250 instructors for over the past 20 years. Class will be held from 2 to 4 p.m. Pacific time. Before we begin, let's go over some important details about the chat room, questions for our instructor, and your CEU quiz. For the chat room, please set your chat preference to everyone so that everyone, everyone can see what you're posting and participate in the conversation. Questions for Dr. Chang should be submitted to the Q&A box. And please keep in mind that um, to submit only questions, uh, any comments or co any comments should be saved for the chat room. And for your quiz, it will be available tomorrow and you'll get an email when it's ready. The video replay will also be available tomorrow. Just go ahead and check your course access page later on in the afternoon. So our speaker today is Dr. Jimmy Chang, a doctor of oriental medicine trained in Taiwan and a licensed acupuncturist here in California. He has over 40 years of concentrated clinical experience treating over 500,000 patients and applying his expertise in pulse diagnosis and herbal prescription. In today's class, you will learn the tried and true formulas from Dr. Jimmy Chang, the master of herbology, as he explores the art and science of his unique herbal combinations. You'll also learn the pulse indications for these specific conditions and how to prescribe a unique herbal formula for your patient. Dr. Chang previously taught a number of courses with us, which are now available as distant learning CEU videos. If you want to be able to diagnose a patient's pulse, identify Western medical diagnosis, and create clinically effective herbal formulas, Dr. Chang is the person to learn from. He will help you improve your pulse diagnosis and herbal skills. To learn his pulse system, we actually recommend the Gold Pass membership. Your yearly membership gives you unlimited access to his foundational pulse courses and herbs prior to 2020. With the Gold Pass, you can also try the herbs he mentions because our sponsor Evergreen Herbs will provide you with an herb voucher worth the price of the Gold Pass. There is no better value if you're seriously learning about herbs and becoming proficient in them. To learn more, I'll post more information in the chat room about our Gold Pass. For now, let's go ahead and start today's class with a quick overview of how Dr. Chang uses herbs because we do have some new students in each class and we don't want anyone to get lost. If you are a longtime student of Dr. Chang's, please bear with me as I quickly review this information or feel free to step away for about five minutes. All right, so Dr. Chang's herbal style differs from the traditional method taught in schools. He only uses herbal, he only uses extract powders exclusively with evergreen herbs. And evergreen carries about approximately 300 single herbs and 100 formulas. And Dr. Chang's pharmacy has about 150 single herbs and formulas combined. If you're curious about his pharmacy, a link to a YouTube video is included in your lecture notes that you can check out later on. So formula evolution, Dr. Chang creates his own formulation that he frequently uses in his practice. He usually names the formulas after what it's used for. These are his more recent formulations, which may change as he sees more patients and modifies them accordingly. Whenever he, modify, whenever he updates the formula, he'll add a 2.0 after it. So you know there's a version one and a version two. Next, what is Fang Jia Fang? If you're unfamiliar with the concept of Fang Jia Fang, it's the combination of different formulas to yield a better effect. It is possible to do it with raw herbs or extract formulas. Each evergreen's extract formula is decocted and extracted together at the same time. It's not combining four different single herbs to make the formula. The idea behind Fang Jia Fang is to use the formula plus formula, not all the single herbs together. This is like eating soup where all the ingredients are cooked together versus eating at Chipotle where all the ingredients are added together to make a final product. If this does not make sense to you, Dr. Ch Dr. John Chen has a video explaining Fang Jia Fang in greater detail to help you understand the concept. Fang Jia Fang is the combination of various formulas to produce a better effect. To produce a better effect. Did you know that herbal formula granules are made in two ways? 
The first method involves combining all the ingredients and simultaneously decocting and extracting them and turning that concoction into granules. The second way is to combine the separate ingredients that are already granules and adding them together to make the formula. Evergreen does it the first way. In Fang Jia Fang, the concept is to combine formulas rather than single herbs. So I hope you get that. I hope you do understand a little part of that. So Dr. Chang prescribes herbs in 100 gram bottles or 150 grams. If the patient is not local or it's a chronic condition, this is better for them because the bigger bottle allows the patient to receive a discount on herbs. And for a 100 gram bottle, he usually prescribes three spoons two to three times a day. All right, so how to read Dr. Chang's prescription. If Dr. Chang lists a few herbs and then a number at the end, that means all herbs before that number is at that percent percentage. For example, Dr. Chang's sleep combo 2.0 is Xuan Zhao Ren Tang at 40, Yi Zhao Tang, He Huan Pi, and Zi Tong Yin at 20. Can someone tell me how many grams is He Huang Pi? Go ahead and type it into the chat room. So sleep combo 2.0 is 100 grams total with 40 gram is Xuan Zhao Ren Tang and 20 grams each of Yi Zhao Tang, He Huan Pi, and Zi Tong Yin. Great work, everyone. Next, do you have to mix herbs by yourself? You certainly can. Some herbal formulas such as Circulation Sanjiao and Stringent, Herbal ABX have already been pre-mixed as collection formulas, Evergreen's proprietary line. Many of the new formulas are not pre-mixed because Dr. Chang is still customizing them, so feel free to mix your own or use Dr. Chang's formulas as a base to create your own formula. All right, and so that's it for our short introduction. I hope it was very informative for you. Let's now welcome Dr. Chang, who will take over for me. Thank you, Dr. Chang, for another wonderful class. And thank you, of course, to our attendees for choosing eLotus as your CEU provider. Dr. Chang will be doing webinars like these each month, so if you've enjoyed this style of learning, please be sure to sign up at eLotus.org. His next webinar will be April 19 on hyperthyroidism and hypothyroidism. And as always, we'd love if you could share your experience and tell your colleagues about us. As a reminder, the CU quiz will be available tomorrow and I will send you an email when it's ready. If you're looking for the video replay, you can look for it in the course access page tomorrow afternoon. That's it for today. We will see you guys at our next webinar on March 18 and 19 with Dr. Robert Chu. On Saturday is Master Dong's brilliant strategies in the clinic for male disorders. And on Sunday, the focus will be on female disorders. That's it for today, guys. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Bye. Okay, guys, let's begin with the uh, the new uh, seminar about the autoimmune and depression stuff. Of course, that's the English name and Western name that you always know that I don't use the Western diagnosis to make my approach and diagnosis, including the treatment. I do it my way, and I'm going to share with you all my daily treatment for this kind of a stuff. It's going to be very interesting. I hope you can enjoy it. Okay, let's go down. This is so-called autoimmune disorder. We can detect it by my pulse, uh, pulse diagnosis very accurately, almost 100%. Whenever I say it, the patient always agree with me and uh, they have a lot of uh, complaints and uh, I don't really have to uh, listen to all the details they are describing with this, but I can just simply use it, the simple, very easy pulse diagnosis to make the approach and make decision for what kind of herbs we're going to use. And the depression is along with the autoimmune disorder. We talk about the so-called uh, anxiety and, and stress in the previous seminar, and uh, they have different kind of pulse diagnosis and in which you can make a differential diagnosis. Diagnosis, But depression is really the, you may say, the worst. And the autoimmune disorder is almost also the worst condition for energy and for mood. But we'll have a lot of good stuff for that. Only fine, a weak patient is our best trick. <laughs> okay? Okay, let's begin. This is the signs for autoimmune, the pulse. The left one, 
This is shit. This is the left, left hand side, the chi. This is the chun, and this is the chi, and this is the guan. So, you know, this is the liver area here. And the way you see, I, the way I drew it, it means that the left guan is almost empty. No rebound, no force, like the blood vessel, the artery here is transferring the, the, the circulation. Looks like it's broken. There's a gap between chun. And that's very funny. You cannot get a good explanation from the physical condition. Of course, this is the artery. It cannot be broken. It is, definitely, there is no gap in there. It's impossible, physically impossible. But the feeling is exactly the same. I'm not exaggerating. If you know my pulse diagnosis, you can detect it very easily. When you take the pulse, there's a little tip. Usually, we take the pulse with our fingertips. I'm sorry, finger bed to feel the pulse. But now, it's not now. It's always you should use your fingertips to take the pulse after you use your finger beds because that feeling will be different if you use your fingertips, take the pulse vertically. For example, sometimes I even miss it. The area always have a beam under it. Left hand side or right hand side. It sounds... It looks like an, a kidney stone, but you cannot have kidney stone on everybody. But I don't know how to explain that. Everybody seems to have a little things here. If you take the pause vertically with your small finger. But anyway, today is the major, we should uh, put our attention to this area, this left one. Left one is the liver is extremely weak. No rebound at all, low energy and autoimmune condition. So. In addition to all the pulses, we, uh, all, all the uh, herbs we pr provide with the patient, we should advise them about their diet, their eating habits. Most of the people with this kind of problem have a very strange, unacceptable eating habits. Like some people only eat one meal a day, two meals a day, eat nothing but white meat, like chicken and vegetable, and uh, considering themselves very healthy, things like that. Actually, it's not. You gotta eat more red meat for this kind of problem. The prescription, the things I use, I don't care much about their symptoms. I always, we Chinese medicine, we should always focus on the root of the problem. The root means to, to make sure everything gets better by the patient himself, not from the medicine. I don't know what Western people do, Western medicine do with this kind of problem, but we do it very effectively, like my depression combo with low blood pressure. So that's a, that may be a little trick. When the patient comes in, maybe, you know, in my system, I always do, don't ask. When the patient sits down and don't talk, and I'll take the pulse and do the uh, um, palm check and the, the every, everything. My ear point, everything. We'll be talking about that later. And uh, finally, ask him what he want to do. But some, I'm sure in your clinic, you you're not. Maybe you're not doing exactly the way I'm doing. But the, sometimes the patient will come in. Hey, doctor, I have a depression. Uh, the, the, my Western doctor told me that I have a an autoimmune condition. Yes. Then several things you can do. First, if you're not too familiar with my pulse diagnosis. You can do a little practice. Okay, you're already diagnosed by the doctor. You have depression and you have to autoimmune. Now we'll check the pulse on the left one. Focus on the left one with your fingertip. Oh, this pulse is autoimmune. Okay, now I know. Then next time you can do the opposite way. Do it by yourself. Or you can just learn from the uh, pulse and do the prescription without listening too much to his symptoms, which you do from base, basic condition and the problem will be solved. Not, not too difficult. Be first, the, the, the logic is that because the pulse is so weak and so low, so depression combo, it should have low blood pressure. If the patient has very high blood pressure, 
and uh, is under medication and uh, claim himself to have depression, I suggest you uh, think about it again. Always not necessarily that way. This depression mostly happens to weak, pale, anemic people. Okay, so that's what I said here. They should have low blood pressure. If the blood pressure is really high, maybe he's not this condition, no matter what the Western doctors say. Okay, that's very simple formula. Renshen Yang Ling Yang Ling Tang. Renshen is the strongest tonifying herb from Korea. Yang means tonifying. In Ying means blood, actually means blood in Chinese. This the formula has two names, but anyway, Ying means blood. So this medicine, it helps to build up the blood. But as you know, if, if the patient is really anemic and being weak like this, it might take at least three months to build up the new red blood cells. So you cannot expect the real fast result in a week or two. But if you add my this, I call it a kidney combo, I'm sorry, a liver combo. This is the most strong, it's not strongest, but it's very strong combination. It's very effective. Next time, if you feel this pause, hey, you have a little depression, the, the patient may say, no, I don't. I just feel very tired. Okay, that's same thing. Being tired, we have this kind of pause. And with this pause, the patient definitely be very high in the fatigue. So this combination is very simple. Wei zi, wu means five. Wei means taste. Zi, the seeds. So this this medicine has five tastes in there. And it's with sour, bitter, uh, bitter, what? I tasted it before. Anyway, it tastes very funny. Huang qi is the number one medicine in our medicine book for tonifying people's energy. I put them together because Wu Wei is somehow black and sour. It goes into the liver and the kidney. So it's very, very good. Huang Qi is the most, the yellow one. Huang Qi, the color of the Huang Qi is like a, a brown, light brown or something. And that goes into the earth. Earth means spleen, means digestion system. And digestion system will produce tea. It earth produce energy. So if you want to tonify this guy or this, this very weak, pale lady, first you should tonify her stomach to make the stomach be able to produce energy. Simple is, the, the reason is, the logic is very simple. You gotta eat to get energy. And if you have a bad stomach, prolapsed stomach, and a bad digestion, how can you be, be energetic? So that's why I use Wang Qi. A lot. And always is black. So this com combination is very interesting. They put them together, everything, they can they can do a lot of things. Oh, this one. I urge you to be a little bit careful about this Wu Zhong Yi Qi Tang. Wu means tonifying. Zhong means middle. Middle is stomach. This is the middle. So Huang Qi is go it goes into the middle too. Yi means good or Qi means energy. Oh, okay, so this is for the qi, and this is for the blood, for the shu, blood, and this is for tonifying all the way. So put them all together, you can make this patient a superman, strong and happy. But be careful, be careful with this factor is there. If the blood pressure is high, don't ever do that. And this one, Wu Zhong Yi Qi Tang, brings all the qi to the it's not to the head, it brings cheese up. So when the chi is down, see, like I always say, we treat patients with uh, mechanically. So the thing, the pause is down, so mechanically, we should lift it up. The logic is so simple, and treatment is so simple. It's down, we lift it. When it's too, too uh, upward already, we bring it down. So what's so difficult about that? So easy. As I said, I do things mechanically. Try that in your mind. It's very, very interesting. Like the, if the pulse is big jump and the thick and strong, 
we just sim simply shrink it with my astringent. If the pulse is very thin and tight, the symptoms can be pain and all the pain, all the pain. You just simply open it with my opener. It's so difficult. It's very easy to be a doctor. You don't need to spend eight, three years in the school. It, it, and you can learn from everything in three hours. <laughs> okay, I'm not kidding. This is really interesting. Do it mechanically. So this combination is a little bit too strong with the Buzhou Wu Qi Tang. So very, be very careful. The patient, okay, the blood pressure is low, but the heartbeat rate is fast. Don't use this. Okay.